Hello YouTube and welcome to Warhammer Conquest issue 16. Issue 16 is an absolutely awesome issue because you get four ultramarine figures. Um, but first, before we go through the magazine, I just want to show you something that you get with it. You get a new data sheet. So you've got data sheet one, data sheet two, and this time you get data sheet three, which contains your Hellblazer squad and your Inceptor squad. Which is cool. And for your Death Guard, you've got your Plague, Plague Marines and Pox Walkers, and your Biologist Putrefier, and your Foul Blight Spawn. So that's quite cool. So I keep all my data sheets together because it's easier. And that's the only really one that I use out of these, to be absolutely honest. For now. Note the for now. Okay. So this is issue 16. So let's crack it open and have a look. So you get the interceptors. They fly. Um, and you've got to be really careful when constructing them. So what I've done is I constructed him first separately. Um, and then I painted him with the blue. And then I dry um, grey brushed his backpack because I'm having all of my little dudes are having um, grey backpacks apart from my librarian who has got a silvery grey brush one just to be different because he's a character piece everybody else including um, Lieutenant Kalsius has got a dry brushed um, grey backpack and these guys are having them as well I constructed him and then let him dry separately I then painted him, um, dry brushed him as well, let that dry, then I glued him on and you've got to be so, so careful guys with this, so, so careful. You get another two of these plastic backs which you are going to be used, which are going to be using, which are going to be used um, for other figures. Ugh. English language failure. Blech. Okay, so that's kind of cool. And then you've got his war gear. And then you've got the big, big spruce for it. You've got to be really careful how to do it. Because you have got building your intercessors. And what I actually did first was I cut out, well, I didn't cut out, I um, clippered out all of the legs and glued them onto their bases first. And then it was sort of matching the limbs to the right um, space marine. And obviously some of them, like this guy, you have to assemble separately. So he was left till last, to be absolutely honest. You get two more. Make sure to save your extra two flying stands in a safe place. You will need the spares in later issues. That's what I've done. To lack conviction is to invite defeat. And that is very true. Because the more confident you are, you will succeed. Okay, building your hellblazers. So there they are. So hellblazers have the slightly bigger guns. And your regular intercessors. Because you get two intercessors. One interceptor and two hellblazers and a partridge in a pear tree. Um, so yeah, but follow the instructions carefully. And I would cut out the um, full bodies first and stick them onto a base. And then it's fairly easy to match um, the limbs to the correct figure. And save your interceptor till last because they're quite tricky. And then here's how to paint them. So where to put the black, then the lead belcher, then the retribution armour, then the earth shade, then the nurdle oil, and there they are. They, they do look pretty cool. And then we get secure the fallen, take and hold, and we've also got flying units um, rule, and that's the back. Charging with flying units. And then I got um, the 
ultramarine um, data sheet three. So next week, which is Christmas week, by the way, um, Merry Christmas to you all um, for next week, you get your second terrain kit. And then in 18, you get Wrath, Karath Flesh and Memphis Red. So that's kind of cool. So here is everything that I have got so far. Remember, I am miss missing issue 11. Through no fault of my own, my um, news agent ordered it, but it's still not arrived and we don't know why. So we are waiting for that. So I'm actually pretty grateful that I got two issue ones, to be absolutely honest. So we've got two issue ones because issue 11, six, issue 11 was these three aggressors and I've not got any aggressors, which is kind of humorous really. Okay, so I'm just going to close my folder and put that over there. So here are all my ultramarines. Oh, not loving the Christmas cat tablecloth. It's making everything a bit annoying. So there's two more intercessors. Hellblazers, which are there. Why is his arm like sticking out? It's like a mile out. Great. That is just not cool. I'm going to have to sort that. Can I take his arm off and then reapply? No, because it's... Oh, I'm just going to have to live with that now. He's just going to have to, like... I have to get some green stuff, I think, and pack that out. Oh, annoying. But necessary. That is. Okay. So I've got my librarian at the back. Regular guys, regular guys. Reavers with their knives, and then two Lieutenant Calcius is flying dude. These dudes, they do look quite cool. You know, pick him up. Got to be so, so careful with the flying dude. So there he is. He's a great hung hulk of a figure. He really is. So these are the Hellblazers. See, there we go. That one fits. This arm does not fit. But these guys, so there you are. Do I'm going to pack that out with green stuff to conceal the gap because I didn't realise it was that bad, which is shocking. Okay, as you can see, I've put on their um, their rubble bases. I'm going very very simply with just basic rubble bases. which is kind of cool. I have undercoated these guys a different colour green, which is quite cool. And for my vehicle, which I've started to paint, I painted it a really, really bright green and I've knocked it back with the oil, but I'm actually really liking what the oil has done because it's leaked onto the gravel. But that's kind of cool because a vehicle would leak onto the gravel anyway. So, yeah, they've got some gaps in there, but I don't care because you can't really see um, from the vehicle. So that's going to look so cool when he's dried. And then I'm going to put the gold on and then I'm going to do another coat of the um, oil. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do, I've done the black, I'm going to then do the brown. And then I'm going to put Bugman's Glow on. I think I might do the Bugman's Glow first then the gold, then the brown. That'll look so cool. These guys I'm really happy with as are, and I don't really want to paint them um, gold at all. I might put on some white onto them, but I'm actually pretty happy with them as they are. Because sometimes with figures, less is certainly more. And I think with those guys... I'm going to go with that. My pox walkers, they still need um, their metal colours going on. 
at some point for their axes and various bits and bobs that they carry, like the axe heads and stuff. So that needs to be. But overall, I'm really, really pleased with how they've turned out. And maybe giving them yellow eyes, I think. Yellow eyes and the metal for those guys. So you should have like these figures and then those figures. Oh, look, you can see their backs. I'm just going to see how this one is slightly different to all the rest which is kind of cool. And then you've got the terrain there. So hope you've enjoyed this issue. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe, peeps.